on the email list of like five copywriters and the one that you find yourself like engaged to read that you like hey this is kind of a cool guy or whatever um, I, I would say or lady but I just don't know if they do email copywriters um, off the top of my head but uh, oh yeah just, just uh, find someone that you relate to that you kind of like you enjoy they seem like you know a morally correct person and um, whatever someone you'd like to learn from and then just, just go with it that way. There's not really, I can't really give a right answer of, of one person you should learn from because, uh, you know, like I learned from very different people than, you know, like uh, my friend Andrew Cass is here. He's, he's, a, good, he's a good copywriter too. And he's he's um, learned from uh, a much different crowd of uh, trainers. We're all familiar with all of them, but, but yeah, different angle. And that relates, he relates to that. And so that helps him grow as a copywriter, as does people that I learned from because uh, whoever you connect with is, is usually who you're going to understand the best and and if you understand what they're saying then you're going to be able to, to um, perform it yourself or acquire the skill necessary. So. Yeah, I've been doing that. Oh, yeah. Following you know, probably about three people and then seeing which one really resonates with me and then trying to mimic it until I get my own group in it. Yeah. yeah, and I've uh, had a lot of response from people seeing the difference in my writing style and how it changes and yeah. how they're actually going, oh, I'm responding to it instantly and why did I respond to those things? Yeah. You know, it's like, well, I just show up. <laughs> yeah. So it's great. It's good to, uh, to learn that. Yeah, that's a cool thing when they go, why did I respond to that? Yeah. Like I've had a lady come up and she's like, well, I don't know what I, why I'm here, but it was the title of the email that you sent out that brought me here. Yeah, it's funny, they're like, I don't know why I'm here, you're, you're sitting there thinking, yeah, I, I know why you're here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, but yeah, it's, uh, that's the idea, it's just, uh, it's about personality, it's like, you have to have, you have to relate to people, so you can, um, the secret is to really define your own, your own art, um, in your, in your copywriting, but that comes over time, but, I mean, you could literally read some books and within like a week, be ahead of 90% of the people along the yeah. People don't, they just don't take the time. They think like, oh, I think I'm creative anyway. It's not about that. There, there's a formula to it, there's a science to it. If, if anybody thinks that way, they're gonna fail miserably. So. And um, with most things that we're passionate about, there's always usually a larger context for why we're passionate yeah. about it. Um, what would that be for you? Uh, as far as copyright? Well, yeah, things that you're passionate about just you put them out, it makes you feel Great. There's a larger purpose to why you put it out. I mean, there's self-serving, of course, but also there's something else that, that brings you to that place of always having that desire to build. That I like the fact that, uh, that the fun part for me is that, like, I sold cars in the past a long time ago, and it wasn't very fun because I felt like I was having to make the person buy the car, and like I'm like, hey, right this way, wait, don't leave yet because. Finance and you can sign the paper. You should buy it. And don't go home and think about it. And I just, I really had to push the process, and I don't. That just wasn't fun. I didn't like it. So what I like about copy is I'm not there to stop them from closing the browser, or pushing the back button, whatever it is. So instead of making them buy something, I have to make them make themselves buy something. Yeah. So that's so. It's more of like a more of a puppet master approach, but it's it's a lot of fun. It's quite effortless too, right? Because is, then yeah. you've done your work and then you just let people respond to that in whatever yeah. manner they choose to and then you're just like, well, then you receive and, and the rewards you know, you know, The best thing about it is, uh, you know, I have a lot of good friends that are public speakers. I don't feel like I'm that unpolished speaking to everybody because I stumble over articulating my thoughts. I have like thoughts from so many directions coming in. So what I like about copywriting is that Nobody has to be perfect because you get to articulate a perfect presentation. No one sees it until it's done. And then it's like after it's done, you don't have to do anything, which is also probably the biggest reason that, that I learned it. Because I, I was like, I want to like, I'll do anything. I'll like dig a hole through the earth if I could like get to where I don't have to do anything. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll work to not work. It's yeah. Yeah. It makes sense. But there's a lot of leverage there. Yeah. Absolutely, because then you can, you know, six, seven, even a year down the road, still be receiving the, you know, yeah, funds and absolutely. whatever it is, or the clients, or, and it's just yes. that one article or the press releases are saying, or the copy of whatever it is, so it's amazing. And, um, yeah, I really
remember when we first spoke um, back in January, I think, or February this year, and you were saying, you know, learn coffee. And then I started watching, you know, when things like you had. And then looking at it and going, yeah, wow. I responded to an ad of yours because you brought me in. You know, like your coffee just like grabbed my attention and fed a part of myself yeah. that wanted to be fed in that moment. And, you know, it was just uh, liberating in a way because reading that coffee was just, yes, it's that intimacy of, of reading something and knowing that it's written to you and thinking that it's just written for you. And that's, yeah. the, that's the beauty of it. It's yeah. like you can hear your voice coming through, you know, and it's like this personal relationship happening. Yeah, time. And, and that's actually what it is because people's favorite subjects will sell, and that's their focus. I mean, if they have a problem, they're not focused on Africa, you know. They're focused on... Uh, uh, we're saying the hi to friends, so excuse us. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, we're not neglecting you, so don't get mad. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, they're focused on themselves, because when you have a problem, it's hard to focus on anything else. You're discussed that you really want to fix something here, or maybe you're just trying to make something better. You know, it's not really a problem, but you just have a desire to, to excel. Um, either way, it's, it's that's your focus. So it's like, if, if, if my ad's like, hey, you know, this is... This is how I don't know. This is how I uh, got out of living in a dumpster and now I make a million dollars every five years. So then it's like they're living in a dumpster. Yeah. Then they're like, oh my god, this guy was like me. He, like, you know what I mean? Yeah, that it's like I lived in a dumpster in the desert, and now I'm like, now I, you know, I live in, uh, you know, a hammock in, in a Corona commercial. Right? Yeah. So that's like what they want. And yeah, they're in the desert, in a dumpster, and they're like, oh my god, so this guy was just like me, or this person was just like me. And uh, they understand me, and then so if they understand my situation, and they made the transition to where I want to go, then they could also, they also understand how to get there, because they did it, yeah. and then I should be able to understand it, because we had similar, you know, triumphs and tribulations. Yeah. And well, it's speaking to that pain part of the person, right? Yeah. And then give them the solution. Showing the solution. Yeah. Okay, sweet. 